Yo, what is going on, everybody? Here we go. We're going to just jump straight in, finish the last episode. Diamond 2, Div 1, I think. Div 1 or Div 2, so let's get into it. Woo! Much better outward pressure. They're yeah, really great pass. Yeah, really good outward pressure here. So you see facing forward, nose facing forward from Phoenix. I mean, Rolos didn't need to get involved there. Should have just rotated because they had to turn and their nose was, you know, their momentum was towards that net. You know, those are the big things that make difference. If you realize your nose is towards the net, maybe don't go for it. All right, we're going to come back here. I've missed the boost. We're going to go there. There we go. Ball's rolling. I'm going to come with outward momentum. Going to block from the inside. You know, Phoenix nearly took it across the face of the net there. All they had to do was rotate. So we got an opportunity here with the open net. And I'm just going to go for an old school van shot. I wanted to go straight into a van shot there. But teammate was looking to cut me up. So uh, I had to take a basically a tighter line to stop them being able to hit the ball sorry very hard again every player misses as soon as it goes into here every player misses so hard we'll grab that real quick so they can't get it we're, we're gonna axle lock this player a little bit and then when they grab that we're just gonna give them a little bump uh just to make their life a bit hell so we, we created there a 2v2 to give our team like a good situation and something you can do if you can get the boost you know the opponent's got low boost try and axle lock them and um, yeah, do that. So we go in for a face out there. Just pop it into the air. Nice. Almost pinches in. Need boost. All right. Well, why did you go for it? We come out here. It's a good shot. So we're going to back off on those. Those shots are always dangerous. We got out with momentum. We've just been bumped by our teammate. Rotating into the net from the front post. That's why you always want to rotate off up the backboard there. So you don't block the outward man. Okay, nice shot. Into the back post. It's not on target. We can come up here. So we had like forward momentum there. So it would be an ideal for us to go. They didn't know that. Um, so they just rushed into the ball. But the only thing they can do there is push it up. We just take it to the side. They might look for a demo. So we go onto the wall. And that way it would take their momentum. Just going to front flip there. Just going to front flip there. Just going to front flip there. Oh, that was a side flip. So a lot of the simple stuff. Ready? Front flip. Straight away, side, front flip, straight away, and then side flip, right? Because no one plays defense, so they just dive in and stuff. So always get that ball moving. But the big tip is I can give you is get the ball moving high-ish. Like the pe the problem is people either get the ball moving at the net, like just ground, like grounded, great pass, or they'll try and go f up the wall for an aerial. The grounded thing's really easy to block. The aerial they miss. So instead, just try and get these little lifts. And front flips are good for forward, like lift um, and whip. You can whip it at different heights. But what's really good is the side flip flick. Because you'll move the ball sideways slightly. And it's almost like if you were grounded like a power slide cut. Where you'll actually move it to the side. So they can't really do too much. And um, we'll just come here. And we'll fake it. Because the ball's on the wall. No need to hit that from Rolos. And then no need to get bumped from behind. No problem. Again, the, why did one player... I'm on the ball. One player takes the ball and the other one bumps me. So that means we're way too close to each other. I'll leave that. That's off. I mean, they know as well. It looks like one of their players is Aka... 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 Has, has given up here. So what we'll do, we'll get on to the next game. And there we go. GG. Well played. And that will take us back to Division 2. All right, so pretty good. I'm just doing more pops, but they're so effective. There's Rolos. We're with a team. Oh, that was in there. They're a little bit of ping. We're with against the Faps and Lost. They are a team. And we're with Ernie and Swagson. And can we get to champ today? We'll come here. Jab. You can do it like a flick there. Like, obviously, I'm just showing you. Um, because we, we, you know, with diamond, can I, can I flick now in diamond free? I probably should wait till champ, but you can see how it's actually a really easy way to get goals in free. 
is flicks because it why did why is it because it lifts the ball looking for a double jump there didn't want to be too mechanical and go for a shot and we'll grab this i probably should just left that ball obviously going on the side yeah i'll, I'll probably start leaving these side walls a bit we're gonna go up and just block it like i can't do a flip into it it's a very mechanical move so we just do a single jump aerial just to block them like for a demo great flick yeah if you can get good at flicks but you have to flick instantly that's the thing, you know, a lot of people try to do too much and they try and carry the ball. Remember, it's freeze. You're going to get challenged. So you just um, don't try not to carry the ball too much. We're just going to wait here. We're safe in this position, believe it or not. We can block from this position. There we go. We force them to play the ball outwards. Um, so you have to jump with like, if it's going to go out, watch out for the Shire. If it's going to go outwards, you then have to jump off the wall there to block it and force it out further. And if they're going to go for the wraparound. And that just comes from nameplates. Like you'll, you'll see their nameplate and you'll figure out whereabouts they're going. That's off target. Teammate might have that as long as they put it to the outside. So they didn't put it to the outside. Like again, you just see the panic ads. All you got to do is play it towards the outside there. That's a great shot. Nice shot. Ah, that was my fault. So I was trying to just hit it towards the outside. I fluffed it up. And um, it just gives an angle. Like, it just gives an angle. Again, everyone is so close. There's no space. So they can't react. There's, that's the thing. There's no reaction time on the defense. Because if you play first man, you can guarantee your teammates are right behind you. Look, you see? Right behind him. What's Ernie going to do? Nothing. We'll leave this because they're both on the backboard. We just have to play a bit more defensive, I think, for a bit. So we can get a bit of progress after this Div 2. All right, we'll just wait here. All right, we're going to start looking to pick our spots. Right, he's gone back for the boost. We're going to come here. We're going to grab the mid boost to take it off the one player. Now, Lost is going to hit this out of panic because they know they got no boost. Great touch from Faps. The shot's just not there. We'll grab that. Who's the team? Lost. You never know in the team if one of them might be a really high-level player. That's a fantastic shot. A little bit more mustard, and that would have been a goal. We're going to grab this. Ernie. Hopefully, they just center this. Nice try. We'll come onto the wall here. See if it backs them off. It doesn't, but we're just going to take all the boost. Just give them a little bump. Look how much space we've got. Now, hopefully, they use their head here because we just... Yeah, there you go. Look for something like that. Try and lift the ball up because they've got no boost there. They missed the boost again, did Ernie? We're just going to fake it. We're just going to drive into him. Don't even need to do anything special. Just drive in. Just tap it back towards the outside. Turn here. Grab it here. You can use your power slide cuts if you want. And then just to get a bit of movement around the last man. Because even if he challenges, we should win that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So I was going for the demo on the last man. Didn't think they'd be that tied up, but they did. Getting a lot of misses coming in. There it is. Ah, uh, thanks. So a lot of misses here. There's a miss there. Miss there. They miss as well. So all we're going to do is just come here and just put the shot on target. You can definitely score that. Uh, a diamond but just shoot on tight you could use the side flip i just happened to do a little bit of a, an air roll i think i just air rolled and then sort of did a front flip there nothing too crazy so i'm here and i can just single jump just to make it awkward for them see how awkward that makes it and obviously when we get the champ we'll probably just start shooting those off the wall i think that's realistic now we hit that pass off the seed into our teammate yeah lovely stuff from the teammate so I, I've said this for a long time, for many years actually, ceiling passes are so underrated. We're going to try and go in there. I was looking for a demo actually. Um, oh, he should have challenged that. Oh no, he should have challenged that. I don't know why he didn't challenge that. He's got to hit this ball. Got to challenge that. Absolutely has to challenge that ball without with momentum. Because uh, even if the demo's there, it's going to bounce off the backboard. And you know how much people struggle off the backboard bounce. That's a shame. Nice shot. And one for one. Um, it just comes from this experience knowing what you need to challenge and stuff. But um, you've got to close things down. If they've got momentum coming at your net, you've got to close it down. I don't think their player went. A little bit lucky there for our team. And that could cause a bit of conflict. you, you got to watch out for this. All right, we'll grab this pad. I like to leave those side boosts, you know, these corner boosts for our teammate. But I do like to get the mid boost. We'll fake this. Fake that. 
I was trying to, I was trying to get the angle for the shot. Because uh, if you get a van shot there, it would have been in. I just couldn't get to the van shot. I was trying to slap it across, but didn't land. It's fine, you know. It's it's all right to me. If you're going to miss anything, miss the finishing blow. As weird as that sounds. What you don't want to miss is the stuff that's important, like the setups. Oh, what a pass. So we can round the ball here. It's going to side flip. It doesn't have to be hard. Like if we had a follow-up there. Oh, I've been bumped back. It's all on Ernie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We can come round. A lot of misses again. I'm just going to take the ball back to our team. Don't hit that. I thought he'd go a little bit further back. Oh, my God. What is going on? A couple of fakes here. All right, there we go. So I was hitting it back, thinking they'd carry on moving forward, but they didn't. So they probably expected me to stop into it. Uh, and then it creates a whole whole heap of problems. We're just going to put a shot there. Try and get the double. The shot's off the backboard onto the double. My shooting's really bad. <laughs> I don't know if it's the... Uh, what's it got? This car. But I'm struggling with the hitbox here. That's so dangerous. Got to be careful. All right, we're into overtime. We don't want to be too long in this overtime, though. Um, to be honest, this is really on me because I've had a few shots, opportunities, I should say. I could have scored. Uh, there is a lack of challenging in these areas. Like, just to, just give us a little bit, you know what I mean? Just make it a bit harder to read, especially because they're all stacking the same side. Like, right now, um, there's no one at the back here, but we can wait. Jab. Come from the middle. See how I'd literally turn a little bit in towards the, the middle? Hopefully, teammates got that very push forward. We're going to have to touch that. Hopefully, teammate can finish that. There's so much, like, random movement going on. You can tell the quality of a game. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, my days. What is this? Miss. Miss. Um, and then an own goal. Wow. <laughs> oh, my days. This is why you don't hit the ball with your nose pointing towards your own net. Is it sinking in yet? Did you see what just happened? Oh, my days. That's madness. Crazy hard games. Like, they're very hard games, but I'm playing badly. Like, my shooting is off. I might switch the car. I'm not feeling it. The, the car today. Like, I should have changed the paintwork, but we'll go for the S, but see if we can get some shots on. I do love the way the the wheels wiggle. It is pretty cool. It is. I, I do like that. Yeah, we've been doing pretty all right today. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Okay, they've, done, they've gone for it. I couldn't even remember my quick chats for a second there. Eh? Good win on the kickoff. Here comes a shot over the top. Okay, we just catch it from the inside. So I'm going to win the 50. And again, I'm going to block from the inside. So I win the 50. I'm starting to... I'm going to bump up the intensity defensively here. Um, just so you guys can see how you'd really defend. Because there's no point in me doing it. No mechanics. And just showing, like, look, you don't have to do anything. You can win. Which still is pretty viable option. We're going to go for a van shot. We turn here. Okay, I'm just going to come from the inside to outside. We've won every single 50 so far. Inside to outside. Uh, well, that one. I don't know what it is. You know, I've, I've been playing this game for a while. I just know where to be for the 50-50. It's really weird. I can't really explain it. But generally, the general principle is you want to go inside to outside. So I'm just up in the intensity there. Sorry. Oh, don't give up, buddy. I'm trying to get back to now. I didn't realize he would be there. Fair play being patient. So we're going to go up. We're going to come out from the inside to outside. We win the 50. Go straight for this boost. And now we're going to look for a demo. They're all over the place. There's an opening. Grab this boost. There's an open net. Just in case I was there. Good save. Give them a little bump. And I've been bumped really heavily though. But they've got no boost. Like I'm literally stripping the boost here. Teammate needs boost. I don't really mind that my team needs boost. You see how close they are? Okay, fair play waiting here i'm trying to figure out what's going on so there's only one way they can go so again we're just going to challenge at the right time and we'll take the back boost because because the way i'm doing this there we go the way i'm hit the challenge in these balls inside there we go is the way you want to challenge the ball and you want to challenge it in a way so it flings back towards your teammate and gives them an opening that's when you can push forward and look for redirects and that's what we've had a lot of in this game but they just haven't done the shot there we go haven't been able to get the power on it. We'll look for a bump or a demo. Miss it. But I've still got to respect the ball. Okay. We can take this across. I'm just going to double jump because they're challenging. It's going to roll up the wall. I'm going to come here. Look, they're going to... Teammate goes for that. Shouldn't have gone for that. Yeah, they've just literally given it away. I'm just going to pop that off the side. So literally, you just see how dangerous it is when someone does something. Like, the, when your teammate... When I'm there and I'm planning something, you just see how dangerous they're being. And every time it seems to happen when I've got this ball in a position to score, it gets taken away. Hopefully they score that. There we go. We just go anyway for that because they're in a terrible position. Because they're not in a good position. 
Uh, if you look at Void Slayer, they're right close. You, like, do you see what I mean? So they've got to come across. If you're central, it's really easy to score great pass. So, because they miss, like, I can tell they're going to miss. I'm going to go anyway and just try and get it myself. Because they're right behind the ball handler. You want to be central. Oh, good pass. You want to be central. Just single jump there. They've gone too early. They've gone too early. Yep. They've killed the angle. Again, that was an open net. If they would have waited and not tried to go for a highlight and play really fast, like everyone gets told, they could have probably done something with that and gone into a better position. And again, they just... If they would have left that, we would have scored it. But they're just pushing too far, too far forward. That's off the ceiling and in, yeah. Yeah, just playing too fast. This is exactly what you get. This is why I don't like the current state. This is why I don't like playing freeze. Because it's the current state of the game. Everyone's got to be fast. Look at that speed there. Brilliant speed. Just sit back. The board is literally going to come to the ground. Just catch it. You've got so much time and space. I don't understand this notion of just playing everything fast. It's so illogical. Maybe at the higher ranks, but they sent the higher ranks. We're going to have to go back. Yeah. So we've lost an open, two open nets. We've had two open nets. We should have gone in. Um, and then, of course, we've got gifted. Ah, oh, can't go for that. And gifted uh, a goal there. He's got to watch. No one's going to hit that. There we go. Grab this real quick. Yeah, I've got it. Nice. That secures it. That forces them back. Just going to bump them. Oh, no. Don't miss in front of the net like this. <sighs> All right. We're going to have to go back here. Like, th this is i got to say, it's all over the place still. I mean, really, you can see that... I was going to say players hit the ball more, but it seems like there's more misses lately. But you can just see nothing's really changed too much. We're going to take that from our teammate. Just put the shot on. Um, they, again, like, just do this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm central. I've got my nose facing towards the place. See how that teammate's just going to hit it across to the center? What's the point? Smack it off the backboard. No one can react. And just put the shot on target. Just practice that. Go into free play. Get a pack. Smack it off the backboard. And finish with a single jump shot. We've got AFK. We're going to grab this boost before they do. That's, that is huge. Good hit. Oh, that's a fake hit. I'll be able to get that on. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait till champ before we start adding in half flips. They're really under pressure here. Good 50. Hopefully they turn and hit this. Okay, they, they stalled a little bit. But you see how they go naturally to the same side that we're both in? Really, you want to space out. That, that creates such a, a, a difficulty for us. Okay, we're going to come from the inside. Oh, that was really good. I did not expect them to challenge the last man. If I shot that, that's a goal. That's why I wouldn't have expected them to sh challenge that. You'd expect them to sort of shadow. Here we go again then. We'll wait for the pass. Nice attempt. So overall, we're, uh, we're a little bit stronger than this team. Just inside. So we just block it. You see... I think that's probably the, the big thing I do for the 50-50s, to win the 50-50s. is just slightly turn my car to make it longer. Nice. No apology needed. Nice touch from Scoot there, to be fair, but he's going to come back off. We're just going to tap that away. You know, <laughs> you want to do it to us, we'll do it to you, buddy. But I just don't trust their hits, in all honesty. So I'm just going to tap it away with a single jump over the top. Nice speed from JD. They're staying there. Almost. We're going to come grab this. Now, we can actually come and wrap around here, but I'm going to fake it anyway. Oh, there's 10 seconds left. Hopefully, teammate goes. Uh-oh. That might be gone in the last second. That's off as well. Oh, my days. We've got to watch out for the center ball. Yeah, the teammate didn't go for that. We're just going to hit that down. There we go. GG, well played. But we're doing well. You can go very far if you become very good at the basics. People underestimate shooting. Look at all the best players in the world. You tell me the best player. Look at their shooting. It's going to be pretty good. I guarantee you that. You may not think it's good, like compared to maybe Ocalid. You might go, well, it's not as good as Ocalid. Whoever the best, uh, you know, Monkey. Well, actually, Monkey Moon's shooting is amazing. Nice shot. You know, that's that's what you got to think. Monkey Moon, when they played ones, they used to be known for their air roll shooting. They used to be able to air roll shot high shots from anywhere. They were always getting those long counter goals. Funny enough, they're the best freeze player. Okay, so that just tells you a story that you want to be doing that. You want to be. Uh, just getting good at the basics. Nice touch there. We're just going to wait in the net. Oh, they didn't need to go. That was my ball to go for, but I was I was, I was, was timing it. And then we can come up there and just shoot it. Just shoot it with a front flip. Just put them under a bit of pressure. Okay, they left the boost. Fair play to them. Personally, I would have grabbed it. Okay, well, we've got a bit of time here. We can just power slide. Tap. Single jump. Nice. We're going to have to flick it there in that position. Look, how, look at the difficulty that, that caused. Because everyone pushed into the side I was on. Okay, that's a good opportunity for a hit. I'm going to hit it high off the corner. Make them work. And even though they get the clear fair play, then wow, they've just opened up the net. What the hell? We're going to have to cut the rotation here. 
just to prevent them trying to like get in an instant shot on. You gotta be real careful. And when, that, when you see the last man just disappear off for that back boost, you go, oh no. Good 50, really nice stuff. We'll grab that. It's all right, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry, because they got a turn and shoot. And the, the act of turning and shooting is just low percentage. We're just gonna wait here for a second. I'm just gonna wait further back even. I mean, you could go for that, but we're not doing that. It's low mechanics. We don't really want to use aerials throughout any of this. Maybe later. Maybe when we get closer to the Grand Champ. But uh, really, we just want to do it all off the ground. Nice touch. Really good touch there. Going to grab this. And so, say, like, for example, there, I, I messed up, right? I should have been more towards the back post for the pass. Didn't expect the pass. It was a great pass. It's always the way. Uh, here we go. We've got to go for this. Like we got to go for that. Even if I bump my teammate, I got to go for that because I just don't think they're going to go for it. Nice catch. I shouldn't have done that. So I'm going to apologize. You know, maybe I got to start trusting these teammates. There we go. Touch it. Single jump. That's all we need. I should start trusting them. I really should start trusting them, to be fair. We'll wait back. I haven't played very well today because it's just been very. The games have been very all over the place. You can see again, just these center balls. He just took an open net. I'm gonna wait. He's gonna double jump, tap it to the side. Don't need to use boost. All right. And now that's probably gonna lead to a goal because it does every time this happens. So I'm just gonna touch that to the side if I could. And what actually happened is I think we created a pinch. It's not gonna be in, but look at all the misses that'll happen. There you go. There's all the misses. Uh, but the one player was smart and stayed on the ground. I'm just gonna tap that. It isn't ideal. It is not ideal to do that. You'd rather tap behind, but we're safe. We, we were. The, uh, the the hits. The, oh, my God. What a pinch. Where did they go for? They've got no boost, but they just need something on target. They're just missing. We just, we just block that. Stay with it. Oh, dear. A little bit of a heavy push here. We don't need to touch that as that player. We're just going to single jump, double jump that away, I should say. Okay, and here we go for the van shot, surely. We go for a fake instead. You see how I fake and I give and take. So when I do that fake, is I, I, I put my brakes on. And so what happens is they actually hit the ball into me. I'm just going to bump them there. I'm just going to head back because this game's getting a bit out of hand here. Whew, good block. Right, we're going to go straight for the boost because they're going to want it. I don't mind a center ball here because it's not dangerous. It is dangerous. Now, <laughs> I was going to try and play it to the safe side. It goes back to there. Get a demo. Grab the mid boost. So like make a beeline to here, power slide in the net, and we wait. No one can push forward with this player because we just stole the boost, and it doesn't matter. Like no one centers up anyway, so you just have to stop these like non-stop uh, balls. Hopefully, yeah, they grab that, so I can grab this. I'm looking for demos on the way out, but uh, unlike before, I don't want to get too carried away with demos. Like, I don't want to put myself out of position to do so because we got like teammates there and stuff. He's going to hit that to the side. Grab the mid boost. Touch it. Touch it. Look for a demo. You can get him on this mode. Head back. Let's grab these. Come in. There's an open net here. We fake it. Like, we, we can't reach it. So we come here. We come straight back out down here. You see how we're just upping the tempo a little bit here? It's an up-tempo game. you got to play to what you get given here. Grab the boost because he wants it. You see how predictable everyone is? Well, there's no shot here because he's got no boost. There's no danger. There we go. Grab this so they can't get it. You see how I'm just constantly thinking, right? Who's got boost? Who hasn't? Right, grab that before anyone else does. Now I get some time on the ball. Right, it doesn't matter if I miss it. I'm going for these single jumps. I'm just showing you, know, that the strategy can win games here. I'm going to go in here, look to get a demo. And they just need to leave that. There we go. Just going to get a... There we go. GG. Well played. So even though I'm playing atrociously today, mechanically, um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with myself. I'm just uh, I'm not able to like flick how I like to flick and uh, dodge how I like to dodge uh, in MMR here. A, a massive increase. And it all comes down to I'm controlling the boosts and I'm playing the defensive 50s well. And that's all I'm doing. So I really am making beelines for the boost. I'm controlling the boost. I'm making sure their team has no boost. And we've got boost. Even if I'm the only player who's got boost. As long as their whole team's empty, I don't mind. Right, one of their players is AFK. That's a great pass. So we can push up here. They've got an AFK player. And we're just going to jab into it. Look for a demo. Let's try and make it awkward. Going to grab that boost. And now they're screwed. Because they've got no boost. 
We've literally got, so you can fake this. Obviously, we can't go for it. Teammate there in a good position. To be fair, they've played well. That, um, fire, is it Fire Pender? There we go. Nice clear. And they're back. Right, so the, uh, the opponent's back here. Nice 50. There's the touch. Hit off the back wall. Oh, no one's there. Oh, maybe they are. You don't want to air roll and make it too crazy and like get those straight on. Now, I mean, obviously, you, if you can score them, score them. But, you know, it just makes it a little bit unrealistic. Oh, glad I didn't touch that. I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get it into the setup for them. Doing a bit of a bad job here my, again myself, you know. Here comes the ball with the hit away. We just jab it. And that's right on target. Ball's coming off the backboard. And we just grab it. And just touch it. So they've got a player that's got AFK. Pretty well, they've left the game, unfortunately. Looks like they had ping problems from the start. And we just go side to side. Then in this case, we're just going to keep grabbing these boosts. Starve these two down. There's a 50. We're not going to lose it if we block the hitbox. Looking for the demo. Oh, dear. Both players in the same spot here. You know, we could lose this. That was a great idea. That was a brilliant idea from Online Ghost. Oh, both players coming off the front of the net. Yep. <laughs> Dude, what was so good about their idea is the delay. Right, we'll get that ball moving. Oh, man, I'm missing so many demos today. You see how they're both on top of each other and there's a giveaway of possession and it gives them momentum to get the ball like smashed. That is the issue you see in Mr. Never Demo. Pass it back to my teammate. They've missed. Go on then, Gary. Go on. Go on. There we go. You have to sort of... I had to sit there and block just because it's going to prevent the opponent being able to challenge from a dangerous position. There's a 50 win again because I get more of the hitbox because I'm not flipping through it. Okay. Oh, I don't want to half flip. There we go. Very dangerous again. We're just centering the ball up. You know, again, outside to in. We're actually quite likely to lose this uh, with the way we're playing. I think that's the problem. A lot of the time when you go against a, a two pair, you know, a pair of players, you think, oh, this will be easy. And then everyone just sort of shuts down with air roll. We'll just put a shot on. And there it is. So you've always got to get those follows, right? If you're like me and you just can't control your car, Say you shoot it, okay, I know that's going to hit the inside of the post. Try and get into position to get the follow. Yeah, it's unfortunate for these two. Um, and to be fair, it's been a pretty tough game. I don't think we would have won if they had three players because we're struggling against the two. And that's just because we're just very close and it just gives the ball away. You just get very dangerous touches. One touch, I've, been, I've said this to someone recently. I've said this to a few people. Like, literally, one touch can decide the game. It can change the whole game. Like, one touch is the difference between you scoring and them scoring. That's how crazy this game can be when you don't play the percentages properly. When you're just playing, like, randomly, it's it's so important. We're just going to back, like, double jump there. Get the ball here. And we've got time. Teammates right next to me. Not really sure what they're doing. Yeah, that's that Gary. So this is the reason why we've, we've had a couple of issues because he's been very close. And again... You know, they've got two players. They've both backed off the net. We don't have to rush. And there he goes again. Oh, that, that time it's fire pender. So you can really see they're just not using their heads here. Why are we throwing the ball towards them if we've got an advantage? Let them overcommit because they're going to have one less person at the back. Let's fake that. It's going to double jump. And uh, even though that wasn't a very good 50 from me, it just lets my teammate know where the ball's going. Okay. It's a lot of rushing. Hitting it back towards that. We just jab it. Fake. All right. Go here. Grab the boost. Get a bump on that last man. It's, it's a 2v1 now. 3v1. There we go. And we'll steal this. <laughs> Great pass. We'll steal that. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't like that. Oh, they do. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, good hit over the top. That's what you want to do. You want to get that ball moving. Get it over the top of them. And that's a shame. They did, a, i got to say, they did a great job. They really did a good job. We're not going to score this. Um, I don't see the point. We're just, there's no point scoring these. We might as well just try and waste the clock a little bit. But yeah, fair play to them. Very impressive stuff. 
Just take our time. We're just going to dribble this around. Let him hit clear it. You know, again, Gary extremely close. You know, their distance management a little bit off here. Unnecessary touch. I mean, you can just see a lot of it's to do with the distance management. Nice dodge. Just trying to block this. Let's just get that ball down. Let's see if they can score one for the road. Almost. GG. Well played. Let's see what division we are. Yeah, not bad at all. Pretty well to date. Div free. So thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Look after yourselves. Have a nice life. And peace out. Peace.